I always wanted this car. I saw it back in the day, back when it first came out, and I heard like all these stories about how this car was just like nasty to drive. Like a short wheelbase, high horsepower, and the thing would just like snap around on you, and it was just like, a bunch of fun to drive. So I always kind of kept my eye out for one. And I always wanted the, the late model year one. I wanted one that was like right at the end of the N54 life cycle. And I found this car in Virginia of all places. And I was like, that's the one. So I wanted like manual, white, red leather. I was like, that's it. That's the car I need. It's lived up to its reputation to say the least. <laughs> I'm Ryan Malloy. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, in the northern suburbs. And this is a 2010 BMW 135i. My parents have always been kind of like car enthusiasts. My dad's had like a bunch of Corvettes. My mom had like a little Z3 that I learned to stick on, which was really fun. So we've always kind of had like, cars have always been kind of a part of our lives. Yeah, I ra I've raced cars since I was 16. I've done go-karts, I've done Skip Barber, I've done Formula cars, uh, Daytona prototype cars. So I've raced cars for a while. So I've wanted a car that would like be like a driver's car. So one that you can like turn off all the stability control and traction control and just like drive it like a complete, you know, maniac. And this, is, this is definitely the car you can do stuff in that in. Favorite part is the I guess just the flickability of the car. Like you just go around the corner, you can just get on it, the thing will just snap around on you, but like in a controllable way, not like it's gonna kill you. But yeah, it's just, it's fun to just kind of like, just hammer on it, and just kind of squats, digs in, and like launches you out of a turn. I just like hooning around in it, you know, here and there, everywhere, and it's a fun car, but I would like to take it to the track. It's kind of set up for it, so it's kind of like, in time, but I'm in no rush. So when I bought it, the guy did downpipes, what else we had? HFP exhaust, so it's basically like three and a half all the way back with the resonator, which is surprisingly quiet, considering the fact that it's basically a straight pipe. Uh, engine engine uh, dual cones, uh, BMS oil catch can, and then hard intercooler pipes all the way around because these have a tendency of just going at higher boost levels, so you gotta put those on, and it's just a pain if you don't, so. That's all I've, that's what it came with, and then I've just done basic maintenance stuff to it because these things are known for just, like, injectors, coils, and spark plugs, which a lot of German cars are known for, so. Those were replaced, like, shortly after, so. Other than that, it's pretty much stock. They put, like, the M Sport brakes on it, so the thing will, like, slam you into the dash if you're not paying attention, so that's, that's pretty entertaining. <laughs> I like the fact that the Pro Clips is like almost right in your field of view, maybe just, just barely off center, which is great for like when you're running navigation or changing songs or whatever, so you don't really have to take your eyes away from the road, it's just in your field of view and it's within arm's reach, which is always nice because if you have something that's like you know, way over here and you can't get to it, that's just a huge pain. And the suspension's pretty stiff in this thing, so like with the, I had a bad mount at first and like when I hit a bump, the phone would just be like, pew, and go fly across it, which is not very convenient, so. With the Pro Clip, you can hit bumps and the thing just stays exactly where it is and it doesn't rattle or anything. Like the screen doesn't vibrate or anything like that. It just stays like rock steady, which is nice. I just like the adrenaline rush, which is going fast. And it's, it's something that like a lot of people do, but not very many people do well, I guess is the best way to put it. So it's nice to like fully embrace something that you do every day but do it to a level that most people never get to.